Hey, Duncan, what's going on? What's going on, man? First, congratulations on making the NBA Finals with the Miami Heat. Um, my question is, can you believe just a few years ago you were sending out text messages seeking potential jobs in sports media, and now you're a key cog in the Miami Heat getting to the NBA Finals? Um, I, I can't believe it. Um, can't believe it, but, uh, you know, I, I certainly didn't expect it. Um, you know, I, I understand that uh, nothing, nothing is guaranteed, and throughout my career, if there's one thing I have learned, it's not to expect anything. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm incredibly grateful to be in the situation, um, humbled by it in many ways. You know, it's it's still kind of been surreal, but, uh, you know, certainly not content with where I'm either. You know, I'm excited for this, this opportunity to compete and hopefully leave my mark on this series. Well, now that you are in the finals, I guess I got to ask you a follow-up question. Um, if you were pursuing a job in sports media, what avenue would you go into? Would you want a job, per se, uh, doing what uh, we do as the guys asking you questions, a play-by-play -play guy? What would it be that you would want to do in sports media? Um, probably, probably not necessarily asking the questions. Um, something to do with content. You know, I, I like to write, um, you know, whether it be content, you know, like everybody, I, I have no shortage of opinions. You know, I got my opinions on everything. So uh, maybe something kind of in that avenue. Hi, Duncan. Couple things. Have you had the ability or the access to use gyms at the complex at midnight or late at night to work on your shot if, if you felt you wanted to? Have you done that at all? And also, have you heard from any friends, former coaches, former teammates who have said to you, can you believe you're in the NBA Finals over these last couple days? I've heard from a lot of people. Um, people have, have come out in support from, from all different stages of my life and my basketball career, which you know I'm, I'm really appreciative of. That's one of the things that is so special about this is you get to share it with people um, and, and kind of have that experience with, with others. So um, definitely I felt the support. And as for shooting, um, the NBA has done a really good job of, of making gym time available. And uh, you know I've, I've tried to take full advantage of that. Um, you know, some days it's, it's resting um, just to, to obviously this, these playoffs have, have been somewhat of a grind as well. So um, it's, it's always been about finding that balance between rest and, and repetitions. But the NBA has definitely made uh, you know, gym time available, which has been great. Have you gone late at night, Duncan? Uh, so we, yeah, we have not like midnight. We, we have a, a gym slot um, every night from like, it's either nine to 10 um, or 10 to 11. So, uh, yeah, you know, early earlier on in the bubble, I was I was pretty much at every single one, and um, now it just kind of becomes like getting where you fit in, uh, how your body's feeling, and just kind of read it from there. Thank you, uh, Duncan. I think we can all agree that you're at a high point in your career right now. Also, referencing that text message that has recently gone viral, we can all agree that you're at a high point in your career, making the NBA Finals. And looking back, though, can you reflect a little bit on the low points of your career and how these? paved the way for you to be here today, sitting here in the NBA Finals? Um, sure, yeah. You know, I, I wouldn't necessarily refer to them as, as low points as much as just, you know, learning experiences. Um, you know, I've, I've had a handful of them. You know, I, I got, uh, you know, pulled out of the starting line of my junior year. I got pulled out of the starting line of my senior year. Um, so I, I didn't start much of my college career. Uh, you know, I wasn't recruited in high school. You know, I was, I was coaching, or I was, posting coach DMPs my junior year of high school. Um, so that's pretty unheard of for a guy that goes on to play college basketball, uh, let alone the opportunity to play in the NBA. So uh, for me, it's just all about really just just building the, the trust and the resolve to just continue to, to push through in those moments. Um, and I feel like those those kind of plateau plateaus can turn into springboards for success um, if, if you approach them with the right, right mindset. And uh, I give a ton of credit to, to my family, people in my corner, my close friends, uh, who really kept me grounded in those moments. And um, it's not anything, you know, some secret recipe or whatever. Um, it's, it's really just about continuing to push forward, being persistent, um, continuing to show up. I guess you're watching the NBA Finals on your TV uh, last uh, years before. To be in, the, in a member of NBA Finals, what it means for you and your sacrifices and the whole work uh, you put on uh, in uh, in the court, and also, which uh, was the best advice that you heard uh, through the years, and who told it told it to you? Um, I, I've gotten so many uh, so many examples of, of great advice. Uh, it's hard to pinpoint one. 
Um, you know, probably probably the the best advice um, has has been from you know either my family or my close friends of, of just really being present. Um, you know, there's a propensity to get caught up in uh, what's next or or how can I parlay this into my next opportunity or how can I do this or that. Um, you know, one thing that I feel like has been an advantage throughout my career is that I've tried to just to excel where my feet were um, and to just be the best version of myself in the opportunity that I'm in, whether that be the role, the school, um, the team, whatever whatever it may have you. Um, and just continuing to, to, to push forward with, with that. Um, honestly, I don't remember your first question, so you might need to ask that one again. <laughs> yeah, you, you, I guess you watched the games, the NBA Finals on your TV a few years ago. And to be a member of, uh, to play in the NBA Finals, what it means about your work, your sacrifices, and stuff like this? Um, I, I referenced it earlier, but really, it's it's a it's a humbling opportunity. Um, certainly didn't expect to be here. Um, so that first and foremost, and, and I'm just incredibly grateful um, to for all the opportunity I've been given um, within this organization, within this team, and uh, it's it's been a ton of fun with this with this group of guys to just compete and just have another another shot um, at, at winning an NBA championship. So uh, it's, it's been an incredible run and we're certainly not content with where we are. We want to continue to, to push forward. Jimmy came into your celebration that night wearing a Spo University of Portland jersey. And so much of Spo story is always back to the room. Yeah. But he was a player. Yeah. Um, do you ever see him pick up a basketball and play? Um, do you know that he was a player? And do you see any of that point guard still in him today. Uh, occasionally, he'll like mess around with the, uh, you know, just like dribbling the ball or, or finishing or shooting jump shots, like very occasionally. But he'll do it. Um, I, I didn't know he was a player. I remember uh, listening. I think it was the, the Woj Pod or something like that. He was talking about his experience overseas and um, his experience in Portland. So uh, I, I knew he had, had a, a career as a player and been a good one. Um, so it's it's funny to kind of see it come out just in spots here and there. Thank you, Duncan. All right.